Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! This project will help us to make use of all the knowledge that we gathered during the last 22 videos. Of course, we will learn some other stuff as well. This project will help us to make use of all the knowledge that we gathered during the last 22 videos. Of course, we will learn some other stuff as well. First, let's create a database for this project. I will name this Social Network. And I will connect it to this project. To make the connection, open the .env file. And here we pass the database name, which is Social Network, the username root and I have no password. As you know from the previous videos, we have a migration that will create a user stable. So if you go to database, migrations, you have this migration here. I want to modify this a bit. I will add a new field here called username and another one called dob for date of birth. I will see here table string username will be max 32 characters and then table date dob for date of birth and once you make these changes you will be ready to migrate the tables so go to a new tab and run php artisan migrate let's take a look at the users tables if i go to social network users structure here we are. You can see that the type for the username is varchar32 and for the date of birth it is date. What about creating the authentication? Very easy. If you go here, php artisan make auth. This command, as you know, it will create everything for you. Views, routes, controllers, everything. Again, what I have done here has been covered in the previous 22 videos, except modifying this user's table here, the migration. So I want to see if the authentication works. I will go to slash register. And let's take a look. I will register a new user. Test at gmail.com. The password is secret. Now we get this error. The reason why we have this error is because we made the database connection in the .env file, in this file here, after we ran the server, or at least this is what I did. In my case, the server was running and then I made the database connection. However, Laravel is now confused since it has the previous connection, as you can see here. To fix this problem, close the terminal that is running the, the server and run it again. PHP Artisan, serve. However, here is another problem. If you remember, I have said that PHP Artisan serve will run by default at port 8000. Because I have another project in port 8000, just for illustration, in order to see how you can fix this problem, we now have to run this project, the social network, in another port. So to specify the port for our social network, the command is very easy. Port equals to 8001. Now this works. So if you go back and you reload this, you will see another problem. Because we added this new field here called username and of course the other one, the date of birth, there is a problem because Laravel doesn't recognize these two new fields. So in the next video we will see how we can fix this problem.